know, I certainly, when I started at Terrelland High School, our math department was the most traditional uh, teacher-centered classroom. It was quiet when I walked those halls. And over the course of our time with Cali, it transformed. Um, and student discourse that was taking place in the classroom filled the halls. Um, teachers went from having rows to having collaborative groupings of tables in a math classroom, which hadn't been done before in our school. The smarter balanced assessment data, specifically in the strand of student discourse, shot up. And I think what maybe wasn't mentioned here, but worth mentioning because I witnessed it within our math department, the morale amongst the math teachers improved. The buy-in improved because of the morale and they became a department of yeses. Um, and that has allowed me now stepping into my role as an administrator to, you know, push more, create greater change, have a bigger impact, um, and use our math department as an example um, when we do other work in other areas. Uh, being on the Cali team myself was an important ingredient in terms of the culture of my school district and the need to have the person who has the ability to kind of really um, get a message out or to um, influence administrators. I think turned out to be a really big key for us. Yeah. I would say the nebulous part around cultural shift, I think is something that is really striking to me. Um, I think we all know this in school systems, the, the, the shift of culture can be so difficult. And when you really look at yourself and you realize that you have those dysfunctional parts of yourself that aren't working well, um, and you, know, you heard Lauren talk about what her classrooms looked like before Cali, and a lot of that is really true. Uh, for what was happening in Robla. And it feels overwhelming. You know, how do you begin to tackle that? And it really is about getting people to think differently. And for us, I think that's the significant um, takeaway from what happened in participating in, um, in Cali for all of these years. It really has shifted our thinking about how we trust each other, about how we value the input from so many more um, stakeholders than we did before. And the truth is that the practitioners were, were often left out of those conversations. And it was Callie who said, you know, put the right team together. And it really is uh, something that then impacted our culture because teachers now um, began to build on their voice and they, they felt listened to and, and we could hear them, I think a lot more clearly and they could hear us. And I have to say the timing for us that kind of having gone through this work right before the, um, before the pandemic hit. And then because we got this whole new wave of issues that we had to resolve, we had really laid a foundation for, okay, we know how to talk to each other. We know how to solve problems together. We know how to give um, a voice to um, everyone who has thoughts about what can work here. And it really did, that impacted greatly our ability to, to, um, to really do good things during the pandemic for our students. 